Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to finally another storing photo cards video. It has been a hot minute since I have done one of these, so we are well overdue. I counted the amount of cards that I have to store away today and we are up to 150 cards to store, which is just insanity. I'm really excited. I feel like I say this in all of my videos, but there is a ton of NCT 127 to store away. So yes, if you are not an NCT fan, I'm so sorry, but I feel like if you are a continued watcher of my videos and you keep coming back, you're okay with the NCT 127 content. So I feel like I should just stop apologizing. But yeah, I always like to give that disclaimer is that a majority of this video will be focused on NCT, specifically 127 because they are my alts. So yes but i'm excited for all the cards we have to store away i think we are going to be going into every single binder that i currently have i have switched around some things so that's exciting i'll get to show you all all of that fun stuff and yeah this is actually the first video i'm filming in like i want to say a month since i've been traveling so much so i'm excited to be back excited to be filming i'm feeling motivated i guess you could say to film again so yeah let's just get into it okay i'm gonna start with ats today because i have the least for them i think this container holds everything that i have for my a5 binders so we have ats nct dream which is a shocker i usually don't have dream photo cards and then all of my jaehyun non-album stuff which is just out of control but yeah let's do ats first okay we have some fun stuff here i'm not gonna lie so let's flip to the back first okay this page i have this yo song i think this was like the us exclusive card from spinoff so i can try to put him in here these pages from Yao Cafe are not double-sided, so they just have one single sleeve, which is unfortunate, but I bought them knowing that, and then I just decided to double-side, so it's my own fault. But yeah, so that completes this little set. Yay! Then I guess I'll talk about how I rearranged this binder. So of course I started double-siding because I don't really care about the backs of ATS's cards. I don't think they're the prettiest things ever. And then I also, where I could, I tried to do more spreads. So for this, since I'm going to have four cards for each of them from this era, I put Yuno at the top and then Yosong at the bottom. I just kind of like how this flows better, but obviously it's not going to work for every single spread that I have because I'm doing like top four for the blanket set, even though these cards are proving incredibly challenging to find. So for this, where I'm only collecting Yuno and Yosong, I'm keeping them how I originally had them. So I hope that makes sense. But where I can do the spreads with Yuno on top and Yosong at the bottom, I'm trying to do that. So yes. And for this spread, I have this Yosong. Bread Yosong, how incredible. We love to see it. Okay, and then lastly, I have this Yosong, which goes here. So yay! This page is officially done, so that's exciting. Just need this last Yosong, and then we will be complete with Outlaw, even though I am trying to expand and collect a few platform cards for them, so y'all. Okay, and then the rest is for Will. Yes, I have both of the cards for this page. I think we're finishing this era today, so that's exciting. This is gonna be a pain in the ass to store, honestly. I feel like I just need to invest in double-sided pages for this collection. But then I'm like, what am I gonna use these pages for? I don't think when I buy stuff sometimes, which is my downfall. So yeah, this page is done, yay. So pretty, I love the hair, so iconic. Um, and then I have this Yuno. So here I'm doing the spread with Yuno on top and Yosung at the bottom. I think it looks so good. I really love how this looks. But yeah, that is Yuno's Z version selfie photo cards. Now this spread is completely done, it looks so good. I'm obsessed, oh my God. And yeah, that means Will era is complete now. I'm wondering if I should like reorganize this to at least put like Yuno on top and Yosung at the bottom and then I can have Sung Hwan Mingi in the corners. I don't know, let me know your thoughts on that. If I reorganize this and put um, this Walmart up here, shifted Yuno around and then just had Sung Hwa and Mingi 
um, here, and then we would have like three Uno at top, three Yosung at the bottom. Question mark, what do we think? It also is driving me crazy that these two are not from the same set, but I, I can't buy Uno's equivalent to this. It is way too expensive, so I don't know. Maybe I should just leave it as it is. I don't know. Let me know what you think. <laughs> Taking opinions in the comment section. But yeah, that was it for ATs today. All right, next we're going to do the girls. So I have one whole Rujin card to store away today for the most recent era born to be. I have one of her special edition photo cards. These are such a pain in the ass. Oh my god, I cannot stand it. Which version is this from? I think this is one of the untouchable versions. So I will just put her here for now. So I joined a group order for the special edition for both versions. I bought two of each version to try and pull Rujin's full set and I pulled two out of four of her cards. So that's really great. It's better than pulling nothing. So I just went ahead and bought this one because this was one of the ones I didn't pull and I definitely overpaid for it. I paid like the price of the album for the card and I was just like, you know what, whatever. I'm just gonna buy it. <laughs> I don't care. And I am still missing her like egg photo card, the one where she's really close up. And I don't think I'm ever gonna get that card to be quite honest because those egg photo cards are super sought after. But I do have the one where she's holding the robot and I have her other blue version, I believe, coming. I can't remember what that looks like, but I'm calling that a win, having three out of four, but I'm such a completionist collector for her that it does bother me that I will probably never have the egg photo card, but what can we do? And everything else I have on the way, actually, so that's really exciting. It's just that one freaking egg photo card that is um, eluding me, so whatever. I'm just not gonna pay $30 for a photo card. Like, it's just not where I'm at financially, so yes. But for Yeti, we are finishing Chill Kill today. So, hallelujah. What was I even missing? Okay, poster. This is her poster version photo card, so freaking cute. Oh my God, Red Velvet comeback one. I know Wendy just had a comeback, but still, I want Red Velvet to come back, her Smitty. Hopefully they'll have a comeback before November. Like I, I love how November is kind of Red Velvet's month for like releasing albums, but can we have one in November and then one before then? I don't know why we can only have one comeback a year. It's really sad. Um, this is one of the photo book cards. I believe this is the sisters version. I think the one thing that was slightly demotivating for me with this comeback was they did so many versions, but so many of these cards look the same and are from the same concept. And this is the last package version I was missing. That so many of her cards look the same and it made me not want to buy them. Like these two look very similar. These two look very similar, even though they're both gorgeous, but it's just like, if we're not going to have enough concepts to supplement the amount of versions that we're doing, we shouldn't be doing that amount of versions of albums like it's just not needed this album did not need like all the photo books the package version the bag version the smini the poster version like we didn't need all of those versions because all of the concepts are just reused across the versions does that make sense what i'm saying that is like my main critique with sm and i'm sure they're not the only company that does it but they're just the main company that i follow because i stand so many of their groups unfortunately um, i cannot escape sm and yeah it's just something that is very prevalent in, for a lot of their groups that i collect is that they don't do enough concepts but they release more versions of the album than they have concepts so we just end up with a lot of similar looking photo cards which is frustrating in my opinion oh nar nar we have to fix that okay i'm gonna shift this this might actually look better Yeah, I like that better. So we have the bag version cards, the poster version card, the three package version cards, for whatever reason, the two photo book version cards, and then the Smitty. So there we go, that is done. And then we have the rest of the members from the bag version and her Apple Music pre-order benefit on the back. So that is it for Chill Kill. Yeti is once again complete, thank God. I am seated and waiting for the next Red Velvet comeback. 
whenever that may be. But yeah, that was actually it for this binder. The only other group in this binder is Stacy, but I have nothing for them today. Waiting for their comeback announcement because I feel like that is imminent. But yes, let's move on to the next binder. Okay, last binder before we start making our way through the several NCT binders that I have. Hee hee, ha ha. A pretty good stack for the boy groups binder today. And literally all of this is Matthew except for this menu card. So let's go to 17 going all the way to that guy. I literally have one card to put away. So here we are. And it is this last carrot version that I was missing. Here he is. So cute. So happy I was able to find a trade finally for him. And that completes 17th Heaven. We are done. I know 17 is supposed to be making a comeback pretty soon question mark I feel like I read something about an April comeback. And I am like low-key scared that they're gonna pull another face the sun oh i hope they don't i pray that they don't do this again because honestly i do not know if i can collect this much for 17 again oh i pray i feel like 17th heaven like it was still a lot and unnecessary but i feel like this is an okay amount of cards for me personally to collect for them it wasn't very difficult i feel like i finished in a reasonable amount of time so yeah, I, I pray. Oh my God, please not another Face the Sun. I can't. I also do not want to buy five photo book versions of an album. Like that just seems not fun to me. So yes, please, 17. I honestly have no idea what to expect from them musically. I'm going in with an open mind, basically, because as we all know, the last few comebacks have not been my favorite. So I'm keeping an open mind going into the 17 comeback, but ZB1, we are finishing Matthew today for Melting Point. So yes, I have the rest of his cards that I was missing. So exciting. So we have this fairy tale version. All of his cards are so cute. Like I literally can't deal. Their Japanese comeback, it like kind of happened. Like they released the music video, I feel like for the song and I really, really like it. I think it's super cute and it really fits them. And I thought the music video was really well done. Um, whoever came up with the concept and everything. So yeah, I'm proud of them. Matthew has dark hair now, which was so shocking to see. Like, I'm just not used to seeing him with dark hair. I know he's had dark hair before. Like I think when he was on Boy's Planet, he had like kind of dark, darkish hair. Yeah, it's just, he's been like dirty blonde, blonde, pink for so long that to see him with dark hair was just shocking. But that makes me think that a Korean comeback is going to come shortly after this Japanese debut, which is scary, but it's fine. Before we do his pops, cause that's gonna be a whole thing. I want to do my silly little top four collection because I have all the cards to finish this out. So yes, I do collect top four for Digipack cards. I originally started doing this because I used to have CB1 in an A5 binder, but then I moved them in here, but I still wanted to keep my silly little collection. So I just store the other three members in the back here. Then obviously my top Three outside of Matthew is Jung, Hao, and Hanbin. So they are the ones that I collect. Honorable mention to Ricky because I love that man. I feel like there are so many comebacks upcoming. Let me know what y'all are looking forward to. I'll talk about it in a bit, but obviously we have Do Young solo debut happening. They said April, but they didn't say what year. So I'm praying it's 2023 or 2024. Hello. But someone is a little cranky. Sounds like someone needs a little nap. Uh, but yeah, there's just so much happening in April. Very crazy. Obviously, Dream is also making a comeback. EXT. I mean, just so many people making comebacks, which is exciting. But yeah, that is my complete Digipack collection. I also put in these postcards off camera. I don't know, I don't really collect Matthew's large inclusions, but if they're cute, I will probably get them. So hence those, but now it is time for his pops. So for Youth in the Shade, I have two. 
I have these two pobs, fan signs, lucky draws, whatever they may be. They are super cute. And yeah, that will complete what I wanted to collect for Matthew for Youth in the Shade. There is one pob that I would love to get. It's the one where he's eating bread or like a bagel or something. If I ever find that card for a good price, I will buy it and boot one of these cards to fit it in here, but I have not seen it for a reasonable price yet. So that is the only other card from Youth in the Shade that I would like. So yeah, but I love this page. I think it's pretty cohesive. Again, I don't really like having pobs in the same outfit, but I think that was just kind of unavoidable with this era. So there's that. Okay. The rest of these cards are melting point, pre-order benefits, fan signs, lucky draws that I have accumulated. I went a little wild and crazy, like I'm not gonna lie. This is a lot of pobs. And you know what? I have no regrets. You know, I'm I'm just collecting what I want to collect and you know, this is what I want to collect right now. So yes, I think I had a vision for this. So I would like to do a page of cards where he's not holding anything and then a page of cards where he is holding things. So I think this needs to come out because he's holding a lollipop. I'm just gonna take this out. And did I organize this? Did I make this easy on myself? I think I did, yes. Okay, so those are all gonna go on the next page. And then we have it, these cards, okay. Okay, how do I wanna do this? I feel like I'm just gonna take everything out and start again, to be honest. So this one is cute. This one, this one, this one. This one is also cute. Like they're all cute, but I'm just, I'm kind of ranking them. Okay, so these two are in the same outfit, so I want them opposite each other. So I'll put this one up here and this one down here. And then I'll put the ones where he has his little paws, like kitty corner. Then which one is my, fa I think this one is my favorite, honestly. I think it's so cute. I think this is key down for you. Um, I think it's just so freaking cute. So, and then we have these left. I'm realizing some of these are double sleeves and some of these are not, so that is my bad. Okay, so maybe these two like this because he has his hand up, then these two like that. Yes, no, um, I'm gonna do it. So if you think it looks terrible, leave a comment. I will take it into consideration, but yes. Okay, that is this page. I think it looks nice. I like how varied the concepts are again. I know these two are in the same outfit, but they're very cute, so I'm okay with it. So yeah, I think this actually turned out pretty nice. And the backs are pretty different as well, so that's nice. Okay, next we have all of these. So these three are the Apple Music Lucky Draws, so I would like to keep these together. I know he's not holding anything in this one, but because this is a set of three, I want to keep them together. Um, so I think I'll start with these at the top. Do you guys think Matthew would be a Gryffindor if he was sorted for real? I feel like maybe. I could, I could see him being a Gryffindor. Okay, what next? Okay, this one I'm gonna put here. I have the other version of this coming, so I'll put that one there. Okay, did I put an extra page? No, I didn't, oh my God. Girl, okay, I'm gonna put this one here. Cause again, this is like one of my favorites. I think this is another K-Town For You one, if I'm not mistaken. K-Town For You kind of slang. Okay, this one, I'm not sure I'm gonna keep this one, to be honest, it's not my favorite, and I have more coming, which is gonna be a problem. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna put this on the back for now. Actually, you know what? I'm not even gonna save space. I'll just put this one here for now, knowing that it's gonna get replaced, and I'll put these like at the bottom. I think that makes sense. Okay, what do we think? I kind of wish these were opposite because they both have dark backgrounds, but I 
don't really feel like I could move this. Put that there, does that look better? I think I'm okay with this for now, but yeah, I have this other, the angry octopus coming, and then I have the Christmas lucky draws that they did with Makesar. So I'm gonna have to get rid of at least three more cards because my rule is like, well, my rule for Youth in the Shade was one nine pocket, which I stuck to, and then Melting Point, the rule went out the window, but I think those are the only cards that I'm waiting for, and it's only three cards, so I don't wanna have another page of just three cards. I would like each era to end on an even amount of pages. So yeah, I think this one I will probably end up parting ways with, and then, I don't know, I'm gonna have to make some some tough decisions. Maybe the corn dog one, because I feel like this card betrayed me a little bit by him not holding an actual corn dog. So yeah, I don't know. I'll have to think about it once I actually have the cards, but yeah. And the packs are really cute. Oh my God, love it. But yeah, that was actually it for Matthew. And that was it for all of my non-NCT groups. Not a lot, but still some good progress. So I'm happy about that. Um, I can't really complain. So yeah, let's get to NCT. Alrighty, let's go into the dream binder. I feel like it's been a minute since I put anything away in this binder, but can we take a moment to appreciate the Chippendale top loader, or not top loader, photo card holder. I got this while I was in Japan at the Disney store in Tokyo. They had like blind bag photo card holders, which is just two of my interests, like very much intertwining. So yes, I pulled this Chippendale one and you know what? Mahe kind of gives off Chippendale vibes. I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, I was excited to get that. Um, but let's see, what do I have for Mahe today? The stack of JN cards is just out of control. I, I can't even. Let's go to the back first because I finally have this card. Oh my God, this took forever to get to me. The gum I use, I feel like is notoriously like kind of slow, so like it's fine, but also why did this take so long? But it's so cute. Oh my God, this is his camp station card from ICJ. I feel like that was off center. So I just centered the binder, I think. But yeah, oh my God, I love that card so freaking much. And yeah, I have not joined any pop group orders for the dream comeback. I do typically collect his make star pops, so I'm hoping that I can find his like after the fact, but I saw the previews and they're like hoodie photo cards and those notoriously go for a lot of money resale, so I don't know. So yeah, if anyone has Mark's make star card for dreamscape, like available for claim, maybe DM me on Instagram because I might want to claim it because yeah, I do really like collecting his make star pops. Uh, I think it's kind of cute. So yeah, anyways, back to the beginning. We have hey chat cards. Oh my God, who cheered? Finally making progress on this damn collection. I feel like I've just been procrastinating, honestly, but we have his We Go Up card. It's such a beautiful photo card, honestly. Oh, love him so much. I love this little collection, honestly. It brings me so much joy. Oh, Mahe together, it's just beautiful. Okay, now I have to think about how I was gonna lay this out because I didn't make little fillers. So we have We Boom. I think I was gonna do We Boom Kino reload Kino, and then the reload like regular album cards. So yes, I will do that. Here, this card, oof, love it so much. This one, cutie, yay, oh my God. Um, The dream comeback, it has not happened. The day that I'm uploading this, it comes out tomorrow. So it's Sunday when I'm uploading this. I don't know why I'm flipping through this. I have no other cards to store, but I kind of want to talk about the dream comeback. Yeah, to be honest, the teasers have not been my favorite. I know everyone is like gooped and gagged over the teasers, but the feet, the injuries of the feet, just not my vibe. The concept teasers that I've seen recently, they're kind of boring. I don't know. Someone put like a side-by-side -side comparison of like Hitchon styling for fact check versus his styling for some of the dreamscape teasers and they look so similar and i'm like can we think of anything new in sm like why why does this always happen so yeah i mean keeping an open mind of course i know they're gonna do so well and i'm so excited okay i put in three pages for the comeback i think that's enough because there's two photo books 
the case version, the QR version, and the SMINI version. And then I will have annoyingly two open slots. So I will just get like a pop card or a merch card. The amount of events they have already announced for this comeback is absolutely insane. So I'm sure I'll be able to find something to put there. But yeah, that was it for the dreamies, but obviously more to come. I do plan on setting up for this comeback, but I will do that in a future video. I want to wait until we get Do Young album details if we get doyoung album details question mark in the next few weeks and then i'll do like a big like nct binder admin video but yeah that was it for mahe okay we have made it to the jaehyun binder which always gives me slight anxiety because i always have so much stuff for him like oh my god what is wrong with me this is the stack for jaehyun non album very normal very normal situation so i did have his um, pobs and merch cards split at some point in two separate binders but I moved them all back into one and this binder she's just gonna have to hold on until I figure out what I want to do with this collection like how I want to organize it because I just I don't like him having his stuff split in two binders but I also know that this binder can't hold anything else so i need to either move them into an a4 binder or think of something else because it's just not gonna work for very much longer so yes we're gonna start with the merch cards because i don't have as many today so let's do it okay i tried to center the binder again i've been absolutely horrible at angling so okay i have two baddies trading cards so that's exciting um let's do this one here cute and these two i made the executive decision that i do not want to collect concept cards for him with the exception of ones that i find really cute obviously but yeah i just don't want to be getting cards that i don't absolutely love just to get them because i feel like that's a great way for me to like be demotivated in collecting him and then like dropping his collection which I don't want to get to that point so yeah I just made the executive decision to like stop collecting like the concept cards for the trading card packs and everything so that's like one little change that I made um I haven't I almost said angel eyes I have a fact check trading card as well this is from the angel eyes um performance video shoot so that's why um cute I have another AO card on the way as well. So this page will be full soon. And yeah, this is how I rearranged everything. I have three out of four of his pink Christmas cards, which I am shocked about, honestly. A, this group order took for freaking ever to get to me. The way I'm just putting away 2022 pink Christmas cards now, and I like just received them very wild very crazy i also did horribly on this sorting form so i have no idea how i ended up with three out of four of jayhan's cards granted the group order was huge i think they ended up with more than like a hundred one two seven trading card packs so maybe they just pulled a ton of everyone and they were able to you know for the most part give people their first choice which is nice but three out of four so i just need one more and then <laughs> i'm done um, I'm in a group order for the 2023 pink Christmas stuff. I don't think we've done sorting for that yet, but those cards are not as expensive as these cards for whatever reason, even though his cards for 2023 are so much cuter than these in my opinion, but whatever. But yeah, I have so much Unity Tour stuff on the way for him. Oh, oh my God, this binder. <laughs> Pray for this binder. <laughs> and then all the be there for me merch that I ordered. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be rough, but she just needs to hold on until august like please um okay what do oh wait i wasn't done with merch cards what am i doing all the way in the back i think is where i want to put this yeah so i have this trading card again it's a concept trading card so i don't want to put it with the selfies but i do want to keep this because it's like the special hollow one so i'm just gonna put it back here on my dump page for jayhan so yeah oh that's not in the right sleeve what was my thought process there there we go so yeah all right now we can move on to pre-order benefits slash pop slash fan sign slash lucky draws slash whatever sm puts out okay have a two baddies card 
And I know this is technically a merch card, but I wanna put it with the pots because it's like special. So it's gonna go here. Yay. I was initially gonna get the other deluxe box photo card. They did like a second round of the deluxe box and added a different selfie, but honestly, I don't like that selfie of Jake yet. It's like, it looks exactly the same as this one. So I just decided to put the special card there. Okay, next. I have a perfume card. This is his InterAsia event card. It is slightly hollow and very pretty. So cute. Okay. Love whenever I get to add a perfume card to the collection. Doji Jung come back when. Oh my god, this Apple Music card. I don't know what's going on with the group order, but I actually traded for this card, so I do have it. So that's good. Next, I don't have anything for fact check. This is also on the way. Um, but next is Be There For Me. Whew. We have cards. We have cards for Be There For Me. I have all of these cards. So that's good. I have all of the pre-order benefits and all of the lucky draws on hand. So that is good. But we shall start with the Walmart exclusive card. It's gonna go first. Cute. And then I have his Hello Live pre-order benefit. Go here. So yay! The Japan exclusive card matches this card, I think. So that is why I got it. And I can't remember if the Mumo card match. No, it doesn't. The Mumo card is in the Smini concept from the music video. So yeah. Oh well. Okay, and then I should have all of these in order. So I believe this is his Apple Music Pop. I feel like it's been quiet in 127 Bill. Well, like it hasn't, it hasn't, because obviously Taeyong announced his enlistment. This is InterAsia. Which Honestly, he's done so well in preparing us for his enlistment. I don't know why I like fell to my knees <laughs> when it was actually announced, but I just, I just cannot believe that he's going. Like, Taeyong, military, I don't know. It's just, I can't believe it. But we still have a few weeks left. It seems like he's keeping himself very busy filming so much stuff to keep us company while he's gone and like doing all the fan signs and stuff. So I appreciate him for that. And yeah, I just, I can't believe he's, he's leaving, but I'm, I'm glad he's going. He's going to go and come back and then it will be done. And with Taeyong's enlistment news, we got confirmation that Taeyo will also be enlisting later this year. I assume he is still kind of healing from his accident so he's not quite ready to go yet but they did say that he will be going this year which is upsetting very upsetting actually i can't i truly cannot think about that too much because i just like we we've barely seen him for obvious reasons like none of this is anyone's fault obviously like it's no one's fault like he needed to be on hiatus all this time like he had a very serious injury and that's just how life happened but it's, it's just so sad to think about like everything that 127 did that he wasn't there for um it's just upsetting to me personally so yeah but i hope he's doing well i hope we get to see him a little bit before he goes i i feel like he sent a message on bubble recently saying that He's getting better, but he's just like, he's not ready yet. And obviously hope that he takes his time truly before he starts, you know, doing anything crazy. But yeah, it's just, it's upsetting, you know, but what can you do? That's life, man. Life is upsetting. But look at all these Jaehyun cards. Oh my God. Like, this is so pretty. Oh, some of his best work of this card. Oh everything to me and then these when i saw these oh my god i screamed i screamed out loud these are some of his best cards ever oh love him so bad honestly <laughs> oh the jaehyun brain rot is at an all-time high i just love these cards 
Oh, they're so precious. Okay, and we have SM Town in store. Lucky draw. And then the music art lucky draw. And can I just say, I have the K Town for You fan sign card. This is a crime. We should not be making lucky draws look the same as like fan sign cards. I'm sorry, that's just my opinion, but. Yeah, so all of these seven are lucky draws. So happy to have them. Oof, so freaking cute. Okay, KMS I don't have yet, but I do have the Applewood cards. So Jakarta. And Macau. I have the third one, the Manila Applewood card, but I'll show it later. So yeah, those are those. And then I just have two fan sign cards. So I have K-pop merch video call, which is another one of my favorites. So freaking cute with the hoodie. And then I have K-Time for You offline. So yeah, that is it for Jaehyun's non-album binder today. So much progress on Be There For Me. Like, look at all of these full pages. Oh, I really wish this was in this outfit. I bought the Be There For Me ball cap merch and the card that comes with that is in this outfit. So I'm wondering if I should put that here and just move this to a different spot because I think that would be so iconic to have a full spread of him in this iconic jacket and hat but yeah i'm super happy with all the progress oh i love collecting jaehyun just brings me so much joy and obviously like so much more to come and i found out the other day like literally yesterday that they did an apple music offline fan sign card but i don't think it was announced so i am missing a card <laughs> For be there for me era. I thought I was done. I thought I did so well during the era, like trying to keep up with everything, but I'm missing a card. So now I have to hunt that down and womp womp. But yeah, I'm so happy with everything that I have so far, honestly. His best era for cards so far. Almost surpassing perfume, but honestly, perfume with the blonde hair, like I don't know. I don't know how you beat that. Oh my god, this binder's so full. Okay. I just don't know what to do. I know Meow Cafe Shop released the three inch A5 binder and I do, I really like how the cards look in an A5. Um, I think it just looks very nice. None of these cards really look the same. So I feel like if I put these cards in a nine pocket binder, I'm never gonna be satisfied with how it looks because it's just gonna be chaotic. Whereas with the A5, I'm more okay with it being chaotic because it's like a smaller binder, if that makes sense. So I'm like, do I just buy the three inch A5, even though it's only giving me an inch more space? Or do I just like say F it and put him in an A4? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. If you have any suggestions for me on what I can do with this collection, please leave them down below. I would love to hear people's ideas because I'm just, I don't know what to do. That is it for Jaehyun today. Okay, last two binders of the day are my 127 like full group binders. So for this binder, I want to go to the back first because I have a few large inclusions to store. Okay, oh, I think I put this in off camera, his golden age postcard. What a gorgeous, gorgeous postcard. I love it so much. Okay, so be there for me postcards. I have Taeyo and Jaehyun, which is super exciting. So I'm just missing Doyoung. If anyone has Doyoung, please let me know. I have, I think I have an extra Hitan that I can trade for Doyoung, or I might be willing to buy him, honestly, for a reasonable price. Nothing crazy for a postcard, but yeah, if anyone has Doyoung's postcard, please let me know because he is the only one I'm missing and I would love to complete OT9 soon. So for Polaroids, I do have Hitans on the way. So those will be done next video. And yeah, that was it for large inclusions. Okay, I have nothing for like Jaehyun album cards, but I do have some stuff for these older eras. So for Neo Zone, I have Hichan's C version. 
I remember when Neozone came out and they at first only announced the N and the C version and it was like, of course we know that there's a T version coming. Like, it was just so weird, the rollout of that album. Like, I don't know why they waited so long to announce the T version when we all knew it was coming, but also have Heijan's T version. So just missing Yuta's, I think I secured him though. So Neozone might be complete, which is very exciting. Oh my God, but even more excitingly, Y'all, oh my god, finishing this set today. So excited about it. So we have Johnny, first player. And we have Jungle, oh my god. Someone traded me this card and I could not believe. Like, thank you so much if you trade me for this card. I thought it was gonna take me so long to find him, but yay. Oh. It is so good, honestly. That card is beautiful. But look at this set. I love it so much. And this, this jungle, I thought I was trading someone for this, but I think they might have ghosted me. So that's fine. I'll get him eventually. Okay, two baddies. I have a bunch of cards here, which is exciting. So I think I just have one for this set. This is the international photo book version. So I have Taeyong. Beauty. I've really been taking my time with these sets, but I am kind of making a crazy amount of progress in very little time. So yeah, and then for this, I have Teo and Yuta. And Teo. Literally, oh my God, I'll literally start crying. Uh, okay. So yeah, we're almost done with the set. Cool. We love to see it. Okay, and then the rest of these are all Korean press photo cards. I know Johnny and you to go here. Does Jungle go here? Or does he go somewhere else? Okay, I'm gonna put it here, but if it's wrong, I'll fix it. Don't worry. Don't you worry. I will fix it if it's wrong. So we have a John, Yuta, and Jungwoo. Oops. Wait, what am I doing? That's Mark's spot. Hello. Okay. Oh, why am I thinking this might be his digipack though? I can't remember. Okay, so we have this Johnny for the digipack. Okay. Oof, that's gonna bother me so bad. Okay, whatever, I'm leaving it. And that was actually all I had for this binder. I don't have any of the Japanese exclusive cards yet. They are proving to be trickier, but we will get there slowly but surely. So yeah, that was it for this binder today. All right, last binder. We have the second 127 binder. Okay, I wanna start in the back because I have some non-album sets to put away. I'm a little unhinged and I keep buying full group sets. So here, I'm gonna put the K-Town For You pre-order set. So iconic love all of these cards. I'm going to start with Johnny. Chong. I feel like I've been filming for forever, so I'm going to try and go a little quicker. Jihyun. Jungwoo. Mark. Oh, these two really... They did something with these cards, honestly. Love, love, love this set so much. Super happy to have it. Um, and then this set is for the QR dome units. I have everyone except for Jaehyun and Jungwoo, but I did secure that card. So, yes. The way I'm gonna organize this is oldest first, and then whoever is oldest 
in the unit with the oldest is gonna go first. So we have Johnny and Jungwoo and Johnny and Hechan. This unit is first because Jungwoo is older than Hechan. And then we'll do Taeyong units. So Taeyong and Yuta, Taeyong and Doyoung. Then we'll do Yuta's other unit, Yuta and Mark. Doyoung's other unit, Doyoung and Hechan. And then Jaehyun and Jungwoo will go here. And then we have Jaehyun and Mark. They really did it for me, honestly. Oh my god. But I love these. I love unit cards so much. I think they're so fun. So I'm happy that I was able to collect all of them. And then the last set I have is from Be There For Me. I claimed the full group for the Jakarta Applewood fan sign because I just thought these were really cute. So... Yes, I might try and get like one or two more sets from this era. I never really thought that I would be a pop collector for a full group, but here we are. But yeah, I just, I really liked this concept, so I wanted more. Look at this Doyoung, he's so cute. And of course, Jaehyun in the hat. But what really sold it for me was Jungwoo and Hechan in their little sweaters. It's so cute, honestly. And yeah, the Corgi sweater, so iconic. I do really want to get one of Tails pobs in the chef hat. I would like to get a few tail pobs actually since he did have some for this era. I haven't started working on that yet but yeah that was it for non-album full group sets because that is the section in my binder now. So crazy. Oh, I was like why isn't the sparklies because tails in the set obviously. Next, very quickly, I have a Taeyong solo card to put away. So here we're finishing Shalala. Right before I start working on Tap, which is so good. BTW, I love Tap so much. The whole album is amazing. So yeah, I'll talk about that more once I unbox the album when I get my KID package. But yes, Shalala finished. And I put in one page for tap, but that's not enough. So, yay! We love to see it. Um, for Doje Jung, I bought a pop set to make this page a nine pocket, so I'll put that away next time. I think I did the K Town for You pops because obviously I already had Jaehyun, so I just need to buy Do Young and Jung. So I did that. So that will be in the next video. But now we can do album cards. So the earliest era I have is golden age so we can just go to golden age okay yes so i have hichan's collecting version set very gorgeous okay so this is his selfie Cute, and I believe I traded for Do Young, so this will be done soon. I do have his transportation card. I do really like these, honestly. That might be an unpopular opinion, but yeah, I'm still missing Do Young's though, so I need to get his at some point. But yeah, that was it for Golden Age. Slowly but surely getting there. Still missing this mark. This mark is very oddly hard to find for whatever reason, and then I'm missing Taeyong and Mark for the yearbook cards so yeah hopefully we can find those eventually moving on to fact check i have hitan's storage version card i believe i bought do young's so this set will be done soon and then for the exhibit version i have jungwoo and i have what i think Think is a real Hitan photo card, but honestly, I am not sure if this is fake or not. It's just the filter looks very off to me, so this might be fake. I'm gonna put it in here anyways, and I will probably end up replacing it at some point, but just to have the full set done, I will put him in there, and yeah, now we don't have to worry about that anymore. Well, kind of, but whatever. 
Um, for the QR cards, I have Taeyong, so we're finishing this set. Slowly but surely, finishing. Back check. Oh, love these cards so much. But honestly, we're not close because I added like two more sets to collect for full group. But I have Jungwoo and Yuta's Polaroids. So the Korean version QR cards are done. We've finished them. Sunnies have been done. Target has been done. So yes, I am going to be collecting the Japan exclusive cards. So I have three additional members. I already had Jaehyun, so we have Taeyong. I love this Taeyong card so much. I think it is stunning. And we have Yuta, another brilliant photo card. And Jimu, which is so cute. Oh my god, I love it. Um, and since I'm here, I'm gonna fill this with white paper. I think I've secured a few more members since starting this, but no rush really. It's just kind of an extra set because these cards are really, really cheap on Mercari Japan. So, okay, and then this is the QR Dome exclusive photo card set. So in addition to the units, they did a selfie as well. So I'm collecting this for <laughs> full group. Um, we have Taeyong. Such a freaking adorable card. I just love this concept. So yeah, we have Jungwoo. Haechan. Jaehyun. And Yuta. I think I have secured Doyoung and Mark. I'm just missing Johnny. So we'll work on getting him secured soon. Okay. All right, the signed cards. I'm really excited about this because I have everyone's signed photo card that I was missing except for Jungwoo. So that's exciting. We're almost done with this set. Jungwoo is very hard to find. I don't know if people just like haven't been pulling him a lot, but oh my goodness, I have not been able to find him. The few listings I've been able to find on like US Mercari, they've been super expensive. So yeah, I don't really know what I'm gonna do about Jungwoo because it's just... I'm not paying $50. I'm, I'm sorry, like I know they're signed, but the bundle that you bought to get the card is less than $50. So I truly believe that the card itself should be less than $50. I don't know, maybe I'm maybe I'm crazy, but yeah. So I don't know if you have Dongwoo's signed photo card and you're selling him for like a reasonable price, let me know. I would love to buy him because literally this set is complete except for Jungwoo. But it's so nice to look at. Like I'm so proud of myself for being able to have collected eight out of nine. So yeah, I'm I'm happy with the progress that I've made so far. But yeah, Jungwoo, please come home. Okay, and lastly, be there for me. Some exciting stuff happening today. Very exciting. So for the Serio A version, I have three members. have a tail and this card is so freaking cute I love it Taeyong. and Yuta yeah so I feel like the next thing for 127 is Doyoung solo of course like after Taeyong's enlistment but yeah Doyoung solo I don't know who else was shocked when that was announced I feel like the rumors are true in that they are going to be giving the Seven Cents unit all solo debuts this year. So we obviously had Taeyong with his comeback. We had 10 solo debut. We have Doyoung coming up in April. Jaehyun has pretty much confirmed that he will be debuting in August and that just leaves Mark. So yeah, I think it is like very possible that we will be getting um, all of the Sen Seven Cents unit um, debuting this year, which is just so crazy really exciting actually. Utah, 
this Yuta card is so freaking cute. But I don't know. I don't know what my expectations are for Do Young. Obviously, he's an incredible vocalist, so like I'm not worried, obviously, but I'm just like really curious about the vibe that he's gonna go for. Like, is it gonna be like Suho from EXO who does like more of a band type of thing? Is he gonna have choreography? I don't know, but I'm really excited. I'm seated. I'm here for it. I will be collecting it fully. I collect all of 127's cards, irregardless if it's like another unit with 127, a solo, a subunit, Obviously I collect Mahe for Dream, so like anywhere the 127s are, I'm collecting the photo cards. So I'm really, really excited to see um, what he has in store for us. It seems like he's been working really, really hard preparing for everything. So I, I'm really, really excited. Um, who do I have? Taehyu, Jaehyun, Yuta. Okay, I've secured um, Johnny and Doyoung for the home version or house version. Oh, I didn't show the back. I'm sorry. I know everyone likes to see the backs, so. It's that. Marka Lee. Was it Marka Pole? Didn't I pull Mark? Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Jaehyun. Yuta. And Tao. Yeah, honestly, like just praying for Mahe's health and wellness for this year. It seems like they are going to be nonstop with between the two units and their own personal schedules. I just think they are going to be working, 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 working. And I know they like it and like they they like working and everything, but I just hope that they're prioritizing their health and everything, you know, just like the usual stuff, because I just think their schedule is insane. So yeah, hoping for nothing but the best for them and everyone. So yes, this is the Target Walmart exclusive set that I decided to do. So it's a mixture of both of those exclusives. So yeah, we're doing good with Be There For Me. I'm done, right? I have everything secured that I'm missing. So yeah, this will be done in the next Storing Photo Cards video, which is so fun and exciting. And yeah, that was actually the last that I had to put away. I will end it here. Thank you so, so much for watching. I feel like this video is very long, so sorry to future me who had to edit this, and then sorry to all of you that you had to sit through my babbling, but I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you soon with another one soon. Bye!